Wheaters, Mr. Olympia, the greatest bodybuilding contest on earth. $100,000 in prizes, $50,000 to the winner. Since 1965, when Joe Weeder first conceived this crowning competition, this dynamic contest to declare a winner among champions, the Mr. Olympia tradition has continued to grow and progress to unify the sport and reward the victors. Only eight men have won the contest in the past 20 years. Larry Scott, the first Mr. Olympia, winning a crown and a trophy in 1965. Standing five feet, eight inches tall, weighing under 205 pounds, he had a 20-inch arm. He retired undefeated immediately following his 1966 victory with winner-take-all prize money of $1,000. Sergio Oliva, a native of Cuba and former weightlifting champion. In 1967, he triumphed over legends such as Dave Draper and Chuck Sipes. His victory was so complete, he was unopposed in 1968. And in 1969, he became the only Mr. Olympia ever to defeat Arnold Schwarzenegger, the Austrian Oak, Conan the Barbarian, the Terminator Commando. Perhaps the most enduring bodybuilding legend since Steve Reeves. His six consecutive victories in the 1970s helped to establish the sport's popularity worldwide. His is a force that has endured, leading the way to bodybuilding prosperity. Franco Colombo, originally a training partner of Arnold Schwarzenegger, he took second place in the 1975 contest before achieving his first victory in 1976. Now a doctor of chiropractic medicine, he is also a noted author and lecturer. Frank Zane, sporting a uniquely classic physique, Zane helped ready the sport for the 80s. Winning three consecutive titles in Columbus, Ohio, his name became synonymous with modern-day bodybuilding and elegant, dramatic posing. Chris Dickerson. A sold-out crowd in London, England saw a renewed battle for dominance in the sport. At age 43, Chris Dickerson proved that a Mr. Olympia did not need to be young or tall. His aesthetic posing and well-defined symmetrical physique clearly earned him the title. The scene is now Munich, West Germany. The famous Olympia Halle, site of the 1972 Olympic Games, now houses classically sculpted athletes vying for the title of Mr. Olympia at a $25,000 first prize. The modern day giants of the sport are there, champions from many nations. Wilkos, Platz, Fox, Beckles, the best. And Samir Banut, the Lion of Lebanon becomes the seventh man ever to win the Mr. Olympia title. The sport returns to New York City where it all began in 1965. The venue has been changed from the Brooklyn Academy of Music to the massive Madison Square Garden. The names of the competitors have also changed. Yet legendary Sergio Oliva makes a comeback appearance and a new modern champion is crowned Lee Haney. Incredibly thick and muscular, weighing more than any Mr. Olympia since Arnold Schwarzenegger, as finely chiseled as Frank Zane, with the stage presence and charisma of the best and a sweeping presentation. Haney wins an unprecedented $50,000 prize as the total purse reaches $100,000 for the first time. Joe Weider's dreams are becoming reality, and now it's time for the dreams to go on as Julian Blomart and ACB Jim, in association with Weider and Davina, present the IFBB's 1985 Mr. Olympia Contest, live from the Forest National Theater in Brussels, Belgium. And now let's take a look at some of the men we'll be seeing as the countdown to Joe Weider's Mr. Olympia Contest draws closer. Earlier indications were that 1985 would be the year of the big man. Later on, we'll see if this will be the case. One of the biggest of our early champions was Sergio Oliva, and last year he made his first return to the Mr. Olympia stage in over five years. Can Sergio pull back his mass of days gone by, but add the separation and ripped definition that will be required to win the Mr. Olympia today? Rumor last year had it that Bertel Fox faked a back injury to avoid entering Mr. Olympia. This Brobding Nagian bodybuilder should be in his own element today amidst the gigantic mass assembled by his peers. 
Bertle yearns to be positioned among the truly big boys, and today's contest will provide the biggest. Yusuf Wilkosh brought 238 pounds of chiseled beef on stage last year to earn third place. His physique is taking on the maturity necessary for a Mr. Olympia victory, and he'll have the biggest frame of any of the contestants. This Teutonic hero is a classic IFBB competitor. No one is glancing over the shoulders of Mike Christian. They're just too big. Early reports were that no one would be bigger or harder than the animalistic winner of the heavyweight class at last year's Mr. Universe contest. Some may be bigger here or leaner there, but Mike Christian is a force to be reckoned with. The night of the champion's victor, ageless Albert Beckles has one goal, to win. He has won every major contest in bodybuilding except the Mr. Olympia. And his career, rather than waning, is on the rise. Continuing to surprise his critics and the fans, Ageless Albert may come away victorious. And of course, we have more great IFBB champions striving to be the best and to earn their share of the $100,000 purse and to gain immortal fame. Bob Birdsong with his winning smile and beautifully sculptured physique. Tom Platts, the owner of the Million Dollar Legs and thousands of fans. Bob Paris, 1983 world champion with a magical aura and refined a presentation. Tony Pearson, mixed pairs champion and former American national champion. Barry DeMay, by virtue of his World Games victory, the great heavyweight hope. Rich Gaspari, the hot star rising into a blazing fast zenith. Can he and these other great champions make their mark against the competition. And of course, defending champion Lee Haney is still the man to beat. He had it all last year. Size, shape, cuts, complete balance, and perhaps most important, a winning attitude. Can Lee Haney be beaten? He reigns as Mr. Olympia for just a few minutes more, and then we'll see who will win and who will become Mr. Olympia.